Hello everyone, welcome back! Today's episode is the Lower Body of Galadriel, a project which got selected by you to celebrate the one year of Miniature Ursus' channel here on YouTube. Before anything else, I would like to thank Anita for the awesome new logo she made for the channel. Her social links are in the description and the pinned comment. Without further ado, let's get to painting! We will start from the belt, since it's a small piece. Base the entirety with grey sear. Following that, we will paint the entire piece with two layers of Ushapti bow. The video may look a bit funny at this point, however, it is on purpose as the light was too bright for the color we use. While our work is drying, we will mix one part of Dorn yellow to our Ushapti for a mix of roughly one to one and start making highlights. Once we are done with the highlights, we will mix one portion more of yellow to our mix so that it becomes 2 to 1 Dorn Yellow to Shapti Boo. With this mix, we will add details to the highlights. We will now move to the skirt, however the next few steps will also include the lower body. Starting with grey sear, we will cover the entire of both skirt and lower body. Subsequently, we will use apothecary white and shade the entire skirt and body, except the feet. Make sure that you shade your apothecary white well as it is one of the weird paints from Citadel. Leave it to dry for about 15 minutes or so. We'll focus on the skirt for now. Going back to grey sear, we will start making highlights on all raised and flat areas. Avoid the recesses at all costs. Mix also on grey with grey sear in a 1 to 1 consistency. We will now add a second layer of highlights to the areas we already highlight. This will boost the depth effect, cover less area than the previous highlights. Let's add a few details with pure also on grey on top of our highlights. Go over the most raised areas and give them a nice layer of also on grey. In order to finish the piece, we will lightly dry brush it with Corax White. Our target is not the raised areas, but the floral patterns on the skirt. While dry brushing, go over the entire skirt. Change focus to the lower body. The next few steps are optional. If you don't want to do visible skin under the dress, go to this timestamp where the dress highlights are done. For the rest of you, get some Kidian flesh tone and paint over the dress as if the legs were visible. Also, paint the feet. Making a 1 to 1 mix of Kidian flesh tone and Kisla flesh, we will highlight the thighs, sheen, as well as the feet. Do the highlights as if the skin was exposed. Afterwards, we will take pure Kisla flesh and add details to the skin on the legs and feet. Returning to grey sear, we will paint the leg edges pulling from the flesh to the dress. You can overlay a very small part of the skin in order to enhance the effect of wet translucent cloth over skin. While we're here, let's also do highlights on the rest of the dress using the same color. Let's dilute apothecary white with lamian medium now in a 1 to 1 consistency. We shall overlay the edges of the recently added grey. Pull from the edge towards the dress. We do this in order to blend the colors together. Check and decide for yourselves whether you need more than two layers. Using the mix of full tone grey and grey sear we used previously, one to one in case you need to make it again. We will go and highlight the edges of the dress over the leg. Again, go over the skin a bit in the edges in order to enhance the effect. While we're at it, use the mix to add a second highlight over the dress as well. Using pure Olthon Grey, we will add detail to the edges of the legs and of course add details to our highlights throughout the rest of the dress.
Finally, we will make a one-to-one -one mix of Ultron Grey and Kislev Flesh. With this unsaturated fleshy color, we will make a very thin layer over the visible skin. We do this to once again enhance the illusion of cloth over skin. The result should look like this. If you liked this video or found it useful, don't forget to like it and please consider subscribing. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. I was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Unless of course you want to continue painting, in which case maybe you can check this video out.